Back like we never left BDA in today One Piece episode. Shit, we know what episode it is. But this episode, it was very nostalgic. It brought back what you loved about One Piece. And they went through the moments of when the crew was joining. They went through everything with like Luffy and all his crew members in the moments they had. And seeing it with better animation and better art was beautiful. You know, the part that gave me the most chills was Luffy. Well, okay. Not the most chills, but the part that gave me, it really gave me the feels was Luffy and Shanks. Because just seeing the humble beginnings of Luffy and where he came from and how passionate he was about everything. And Shanks just giving him the hat. Like, yo, Shanks, just seeing Shanks again was just great in this in the anime. Because we haven't seen Shanks in a while. But seeing him give Luffy the hat and just tell Luffy, you know, you know a man's dreams and all that stuff was just beautiful and Luffy he's just there crying because Shanks lost his arm I can never get tired of that moment man seeing Shanks sail off looking at Luffy and Luffy just staring at him like yo Luffy's about to become a great pirate Shanks says when you become a great pirate then you can come give the hat back to me it was just it was just great man seeing Ben Backman Lucky Roo all those guys I know this is not exactly what I expected in this episode at all but Bartolome was just telling the story of Luffy's journey we then see Zoro's moment with Luffy and basically Zoro you know remember the Zoro story and Zoro he's on the um the cross or the peg or whatever he's tied up and luffy gives him the oni origami shit he, luffy gives him the rice ball from the ground and then zoro eats it and then luffy protects zoro from you know the shots and it's just like zoro and luffy's moment we went through usopp's moment we saw captain kuro again that was really cool to see i wonder when the hell is captain kuro gonna come back because i really want to see captain kuro again he was one of my favorite villains like he really was. These are the moments that I loved that made me come to love One Piece as much as I do. Of course, then we have Nami. Well, before Usopp, we had the Nami thing. Her being the cat burglar, we had the Arlong Park thing. We saw the emotional moment between Nami and Luffy. We saw, you know, Nami's like, Luffy, help me. Seeing all these moments again definitely take you back, like I said before. They kind of combine the moments of Frankie and Robin of them joining the crew, but Robin's moment of her just telling Luffy to help him, I mean, that you can't, it's hard to beat that moment, Soga King, all those guys just standing there, Chopper, and you know, the Frankie moment was funny as hell too, so we saw that, and then we then went to the Brook moment, and then that was a uh, kind of a sad moment as well, I forgot the Chopper moment, that was that was another one, so they, they went through all the moments, man, and then we get some actual new content, this new content involved uh, Whitebeard Jr. Psych. He ain't Whitebeard Jr. Okay, well, he may be, but we don't know. But he's saying he's Whitebeard Jr. And we we cut to Kizaru's office. And Kizaru, you see the unclear justice behind him. Like, what the fuck? So Kizaru says that Whitebeard Jr. is as strong or about as strong as Whitebeard in his prime. Or he says, well, it's okay. So translation was different in the anime. It says that Whitebeard, the thing that makes ha that they have in common is that they're both strong. Um, it is like in the manga, it was like, well, he's as strong as Whitebeard in his prime because the vice admiral or the rear admiral was asking him, um, you know, do we believe the fact that he's Whitebeard Jr.? And Kizaru was like, yo, I don't, that's not our job to know if this is true or not. He's a strong pirate. And they said that he leaves, like, people dead in his wake. He mentioned him taking out the AO pirates. And we saw Weeble um, walking. And he looks like a fat, I don't know, Shiki, I guess. And he has, like, a mustache, like Whitebeard. I mean, who knows? Like, I mean, it's it's just... It's one of those where it's just like, whatever. Um, I forgot to say spoiler alert. Um, yeah, that's Weevil. Sorry. We then go to the Straw Hat present time, and they're still on the ship of Bartolomeo. We have the gags with the, the gum. The grandma telling them that gum cures the seasickness and all that stuff. And it's... it's I'm gonna miss Barto. Having Barto around and that, you know, that filler special or that filler episode, those were, that was cool. It was cool, man. Like having Barto, I, I like having Barto around. But then we get to Law and, yo, Law and Barto, it's always funny seeing their interaction because Law's like, yo, just give me some food. We're about to go to Zoe. And he's like, I ain't giving you shit. And then he's like, all right, give me some food for Luffy. He's like, take all the food you need. So then Law is explaining to them what Zoe really is when we pull up to Zoe and Zoe is really huge like we used to compare like the whole jack thing with Zoe. it's always big all right so 
they pull up to Zoe, and then Law is explaining to them that, yeah, Beppo's here, whatever, and Zoe really isn't an island. It's an actual elephant. And Luffy was surprised, like, yo, this is a Zoe. This Zoe means elephant. So you see Zoe is a huge elephant with hollow eyes, and the Mink tribe has been there for a thousand years, and they mention that the Mink doesn't, they don't like humans, and all that other stuff. So we're going to get some more information as far as what's going to happen on Zoe and what's going to go on. But next episode, we should get, they say Weevil or the son of White beard revealed or something like that so that should be exciting as well i expect a great episode next week but you know a lot of people i'm, I'm, I'm sure people are going to have problems with this episode because of what we got but i i have no problems with it it was what it was we got you know weevil well, we got, you know, we were walking, we got the Straw Hat moments, man. Those are the moments that made you fall in love with the series. You should enjoy those moments. Title misleading as fuck, <laughs> but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. It's that One Piece, um, the anime, it's it's hit or miss sometimes, but this this week, for me, it was a hit. So let me know what you thought about this episode. Um, I thought, it, like I said, it was, it was all right. It was good. It was good to see those again. Um, subscribe to the channel and share as well, guys. Share the video and have a good day. Peace.